So, you scheduled a photo shoot on a sunny day, but then suddenly the sun disappears behind the clouds. You really want to have a beautiful blue sky. Now your pictures look like this. Still awesome, but it doesn't look sunny. Luckily, with Adobe Photoshop, you can replace the sky with just a few clicks. First, import your picture into the canvas. Now, the easiest way to do this is to first select your picture in the layer panel. Then on top, find the edit menu. Go down a little and find sky replacement. Now, this is where the magic happens. As you can see, by opening up the sky replacer, it automatically changed the sky to the first preset. Now you're far from done because it can look a lot better if you know what these settings actually do. On top, you can open up the sky preset menu. Find a sky that you like and that fits your image. Now let's see how we can make the sky replacement better with these controls. The shift edge slider will bring back more of the original sky. This can be done when your sky replacement and the original sky are the same color to create a nice blending. The fade edge slider can be used to adjust the blend. The more you increase this, the more it will blend. The brightness speaks for itself. It simply makes your sky brighter or darker. Now the temperature slider will determine how realistic your sky replacement will look. Try to match the temperature of the sky by adding more warmth or cold into it. In this case, we want it to feel much warmer. It would look less real if you added blue. Now I actually found a sky in the preset list that I really like, so I'm gonna use that instead. Next, the scale slider can simply be used to scale up your sky or to make it smaller. Once it's scaled up a little, you can actually drag your sky to the position you like most. Then of course, you can also do a horizontal flip to match the location of the sun a little. In my case, this doesn't really matter. Next, let's take a look at the foreground adjustments. For the lighting modes, you can choose between multiply and screen. Multiply will result in a darker image because it multiplies. That way, the darker areas will be dominant. The screen blending mode will invert, multiply and then invert again. That will result in a brighter and more glowing image. Just look what works best for you. The edge lighting will simply brighten or darken the edge. The color adjustment slider will actually change the picture, not the sky. You can use this to blend the colors of your photo better with the sky. Now before we click on OK, make sure the output is set to new layers. That way the sky replacement will be done on a separate layer. If you choose duplicate, it will simply do the sky replacement to your image and it's not adjustable anymore. Oh, and definitely DM me on Instagram with your sky replacement. Now sometimes you want to remove or replace the entire background. That requires some masking knowledge. Now, to continue the lesson, click the video right here. Goodbye.